y'all, this is Angela, and welcome to the show HodgePodge. This show is not about one thing, this show is about everything. Because in this old crazy world that we're living in, there is lots to discuss. So I hope you'll sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now let's get started with today's episode. Hey y'all and welcome to another episode of HodgePodge with Angela. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you are in the world. Uh, I hope, I'm going to start by saying this, I hope if you're not a follower of the show, you will go up and click that follow link so that every time I drop a new show, you'll be notified. And I'm also going to put a link in the show notes for my YouTube page and my Instagram page. So if you guys aren't following me over there, you be sure to go follow me there as well. So I just want to talk today a little bit about something that could be considered taboo. And I'm just going to lay it out there. And I'm going to talk about women and men and kids and everybody pooping. That's right. (laughs) You heard me right. I said poop. And it's funny because I know a lot of you that are probably listening to this thinking, oh my gosh, I would have never thought I would hear Angela uh, talk about pooping. Or you may be thinking, oh my gosh, what is she doing talking about poop? Well, I'm not really going to talk about poop per se. Um, But what, what made me get into this episode or made me want to talk about this episode is... Hubby B and I have just revisited or redone my whole bathroom. We have our master bathroom that we did a couple years ago, and we've just remodeled our hall bathroom. And if you follow me on Facebook, I'm sorry, on YouTube, you've probably seen that video where I show you a, a timeline of ripping everything out and adding everything back. And it was so much fun wait I'm lying it was not fun (laughs) it was stressful and because I wanted it done right away and I couldn't get it done right away and you know things like that take time and I have no patience whatsoever but it's done now and it's fabulous and I love it so so much but while I was thinking of how I wanted to design my bathroom I spent a lot of time on Pinterest and just watching other you know remodel shows hubby B watches a lot of them even though we don't, we're not remodeling anything anymore. Everything in our house is done. Um, he still enjoys those, and I like to watch them. Like I like to watch the Jasmine Roth help I wrecked my house. I like that because I like her. But I'll watch a few of them. But I'm just not really into it like he is. But anyway, I was on Pinterest and you know just looking up some things that I really liked for my bathroom and. I love, love, love the farmhouse look, but I didn't want it to be all farmhouse. So I wanted mine to be more of a farmhouse chic, I guess you could say, because I've added some little Chanel pictures that I bought at the home store that I really like and just got a couple little things in there that are not too, too farmhousey. So I really love, love, love my bathroom and hubby B is going to listen to this and he, I just want you to know, honey, I love it. But one of the things that kept popping up was a bidet. And I used a bidet many, many, many years ago in Vegas. And this one that I used was separate from the actual toilet. The one that I have is just a seat. It's a, uh, it's called bio bidet. And it is a seat that attaches to your existing toilet. And when we first started talking about it, I laughed, why not get a bidet? And the more I thought about it, I'm like, why not? Why not get one? Remember when we were having such problems finding toilet paper? If I'd have had a bidet, I would have never worried about it. Or, you know, it's like, it, it, it's just, why would I not have one? So now with the bidet, I don't have to worry about toilet paper shortage. Uh, I see now why rich people, remember when uh, that show Cribs was out on MTV and uh, they were showing all the rich people had bidets and now on a lot of the remodel shows you see people have them. I see now why they have them, y'all, because it's fan-flippin-tastic. I went home or I went to South Carolina one weekend and I came back. And hubby B's like, I just want you to know that anytime I got to go poop, I'm going to your bathroom and use that bidet. And I started laughing because I'm like, are you serious? He's like, 
yeah. He said, why would I not? He said, everybody goes to the bathroom and the bidet, you get clean. <laughs> so why would I not use it? So I'm like, okay. And then every time I need to go to my bathroom, y'all, he's in my bathroom. <laughs> So I'm like, maybe we need to get a bidet for your bathroom, but you do have to have uh, electrical and all that for the plug. And we just don't want to deal with that right now. We're kind of wiped out from any sorts of construction, anything related to construction. We're just sort of done with it right now. But uh, you do have to have a plug near your, your toilet for this to work. But um, he started laughing. He's like, yeah, I like it. You can laugh all you want, but I'm going to start using it. So then he started sharing with some of his buddies, you know, our bathroom remodel. And somebody looked at the picture one day and they asked him like, what is that on your toilet? And he told them, he's like, oh yeah, my wife has one of those. And he's like, do you use it? And the guy's like, no, and laughed. And my husband's like, you should, you will, you will love it if you use it. And then he talked to another buddy and he, he and his wife have one and they use it. So it's so funny now that we, we have one and we find that more and more people have one. And it's crazy because I would have never thought I would like it so much. But in all honesty, you guys, you should really look into getting one. The one that I have, I got it from Amazon and it was last year's model when we bought it. And we've had it for a while. Um, before I started bathroom remodeling, I bought everything that I wanted it want it and kind of stored it because I knew prices were going to just only go up on items. So I stored it, but we got a really nice deal from Amazon and it was really like $600 and they had a half price sale on it. And then I looked on their website today and the one that I have is actually on sale for $300. And y'all, I'm telling you, it's totally worth it. Um, like I said, if we go through another toilet paper shortage, you do not have to worry about it and you'll kind of figure out how to use it. And it's, you know, the first couple of times I used it, I sat there and I laughed a little bit, but, uh, you go to the potty, the seats warm, you can control the, the heat, uh, of your seat. You can control the water temperature. There's a kid button. Uh, there's an economy, but it's just really fun or really funny that I felt like I needed to do a podcast on this. But last week when I talked about all my favorite things and I shared that with y'all, I purposefully left the bidet off because I felt that it needed its own podcast. So like I said, I know this is funny and um, I did a, I did a hair washing video a couple of months ago when someone posted that they never thought they would see me in the shower. And a lot of you probably never thought that you would hear me talk about pooping either, but we all do it. So why not enjoy it while we do it? So this is just a little fun podcast. If anybody has any questions, uh, you can always call the hotline at 404-939-7720. And you can text that number too. I can receive text messages, not just voice and, and voicemails. You can text me there or you can email me at hodgepodge with Angela at gmail.com. And again, I hope no one was offended by this. It's just a little funny, but I'm telling you, if you have a little extra money or you're in the process of doing any bathroom upgrade, or you just want to change some things out in your bathroom, consider a bio bidet. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this podcast. Until next time, this is Angela, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.